Hey, welcome back to Freeburg's Free Advice. Happy New Year to you. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the last couple weeks off of school. And those of you who have been working, hopefully you were able to get some time to get away with the family and stuff. I want to start the new year off uh, with, with this idea of uh, the, the trouble with bright girls. Uh, and this is one of those things that when I was teaching, I noticed quite a bit. And uh, I saw an article around holiday break that uh, caught my attention to this again. And I wanted to address it. So, um, you know, obviously there's been this conversation around how girls and guys and men and women uh, are, are treated unequal. And, and, you know, there's a lot of support that, you know, women are routinely underestimated, underutilized, um, and, and they've got to work harder to prove their ability inside the workplace and things. Uh, and this article by Heidi Grant Halverson, PhD, um, was, was talking about um, even how they're underpaid uh, in these male dominant areas, and it's so much more difficult for them to even appear mediocre. They got to work extra hard, uh, and so even after all that is said and done, she says if the the playing field was level, um, one of the biggest hurdles in the way of many women is is themselves. Uh, and and this is one of the things I noticed actually as well when I was teaching that oftentimes my, my female students, they just didn't think they were good enough. And so where does this behavior come from? Uh, and, and why is sometimes the, the toughest hurdle for young women and, and it carries on um, themselves. Why is it so difficult? Uh, and so looking at some of the research and, and seeing it traces all the way back to like fifth grade. And so, you know, when you're sitting in that classroom, girls are actually typically receiving better grade points and, and grade marks in every single class, including math and science um, at a younger age. But when these girls have figured out self-control and they're, you know, sitting still and they're able to focus, they get rewarded with, you know, you're so smart and you're such a good student. Uh, and so they get this idea that they're either smart or they're not versus boys who obviously at a younger age, some of you may have young boys running around the house right now, just kind of chaos, right? It's difficult to make us even sit still. And so we get praised much more with the effort side. The if you would just focus more, you'd be able to get it. Or if you could just slow down and pay attention, you know, you'd be able to understand this. And so much more of our reward system is around this idea if I try harder, I'll be able to understand it. So what we see is when girls and boys are faced with new challenges or, you know, something that's complex, oftentimes girls throw in the towel on this, I'm not smart, I, I don't know it, I can't do it, versus a lot of times boys go, oh, I got to settle down, I got to focus. And so they actually try harder and take on these challenges more. Um, what I actually noticed even when I was teaching is, unfortunately, I think this is actually both boys and girls now, uh, and, and I don't want to totally blame the, the everyone gets a trophy era, but I mean, you've all been told that, oh, congrats, you participated, you did good, here's your trophy, and now it's, you know, I get a, a B in a class and I'm not smart, or I've been getting C's in math and I'm no good at it and I'll never be good at it. And, and so this mentality of I either have it or I don't, and this lack of effort and, and delayed gratification and, and taking things slowly and accepting challenges and embracing challenges to get better and develop I think has kind of disappeared a little bit. So uh, I know when I tutor now at this point, I, I definitely try to focus on the idea of, okay, you know some pieces, how can we grow on that? How can we challenge ourselves, embrace the challenge? And don't go jump straight to the, oh yeah, you're right, you're so smart. It's, you know, if you do get it, awesome, great, congratulate it. But when you don't get it, encourage that, okay, here's a challenge, let's take this on, this is exciting. Uh, and so the idea of trying to take on this this challenge and, and just a, changing our attitudes and our approaches to things. So um, I, I like the idea that, you know, it's so, we, we can control where we're going. And so you just got to take that on. And, and it's not you have it or you don't. There's plenty of studies that say that we can change, you know, our abilities, whether it's intelligence, whether it's athleticism, whether it's, um, you know, our ability to charm people. Um, you know, it's all these things that with some practice and repetition that we can get better at. And so I, I want to encourage you, uh, if you are um, kind of in that teenage year, that, that you're not 
who you are and stuck there. You know, change it if you want to. And if you have young kids, I want to encourage you not to tell your kids they're smart. Um, encourage them to take on challenges, accept challenges, embrace them. Know that they're growing moments and it'll actually help you because we carry these traits forwards. And unfortunately, these kids, you know, both men and women, that um, believe that their abilities are unchangeable are stuck that way and they throw the talent and they give up on their dreams and, and you know they're like you know what I'm just going to stay here because I'm comfortable and this is this is who I am and this is how I can be but if you really want to go be something or do something or be someone you know just go do it you can change things so um, that was kind of one of the things I want to talk about today was just that idea and, and the, the title of it was you know the trouble with bright girls um, but I do think it's a little bit more than just girls at this point. Um, this idea of we don't think we can change who we are. Um, so definitely be conscious if you've got young girls uh, or if you are you know, one of the, the high school, junior high girls um, possibly watching this right now. Know that you can change it and that everything is changeable and that you've got the ability to control your future. So keep pushing. I always talk about giving tremendous effort and uh, welcome to 2015. Uh, good to see you guys. Thanks for watching Freebirds Free Advice.